Hey y'all, so I'm back. I'm sorry it's been a while. Uh, last time I was on here, we did a video where I kind of gave you a little preview snapshot of our little wicking tub thing. The filler valve and everything and all of oh, Look at that, how pretty is that? So they're done, they're all complete. And I wanted to share a video of exactly how they were put together. Now, unfortunately, I got sick and I wasn't able to do this video. But, you know, y'all see me all the time, but I talk about how this is a team effort. It's not from the Sarah Farms. It's from the Hart Farms. And the reason for that is because it's a family. Um, if you read in my descriptions on the channel, it even talks about how it's a multi-generational project. And it's actually been my dad and my son, I mentioned that in the last video, who have been building these tubs, which I'm, I'm so very proud of them. But, um, you know, whereas I'm the face, the real brains, the real Hannibal, the real Hannibal Kane of our A-team is my dad when it comes to this stuff. Like he's really the one who does the does the plowing in and figures out how to put it together and figures out how to make it work and and really just went out of his way at this time this superhero we're going to call him sergeant dad from now on dad that's your new name sergeant dad for the rest of the world so sergeant dad not only built all 60 of these hubs but sergeant dad the superhero Hannibal brains of our A-team took the time to videotape for y'all. So, thank you, Dad. I love the video. I hope y'all are going to enjoy it. I'm going to put that in right after this. Um, so, I know y'all have been know that I've been fighting bronchitis. That's not actually what put me in the hospital, though, and prevented me from doing the video. Uh, my gastric neural stimulator has a crack in the insulation for those gastroparesis patients of, of mine. Uh, the, not patients, but audience of mine. Um, they're going to try to replace that. I'm going to give you all an update after the surgical consult. Uh, it looks like we're going to end up having to replace the leads in that after all. So, pray for me enjoy the video i'm going to come back at the end of the video give you all a chance to post any comments or questions you have i hope you enjoy it thanks again sergeant dad and uh here it goes welcome everybody we're going to make wicking tubs today i'll show you how it's done see the hole right there it's drilled the exact height of this pipe this pipe sticks up at the top so a four inch perforated tube. Get the perforated tubes are bought at Home Depot, 100 foot sections, and they're cut down. This is called a 2080 mix. See how long the pipe is compared to the tube? That's because the soil mix, which is potting mix, is about one hand width on both sides of the tube. Now we want the tube to fill up with water. And to do that, we need to protect the tube, keep the soil mix from getting inside. This is your ground cloth. This is cut five feet to three inch, three feet wide ground cloth, cut it five feet. What we're gonna do is put it in the center of the tub. Say, well, why, why do we got a, a tube? That's a one-inch tube, by the way. Sticking through a four-inch tube at the top. I want to know what the water level is at the top of this tube when it fills up with water. And I'll know when it it's filled up because the water will come out on the side. It'll come out right there. So I put the center section in on top of the ground cloth, make sure that it's centered. And then just, I've got two 
four of these sections I put on both sides. Then I will do is I will fold the ground cloth over the top of the two, making sure there's no creases in it. I want it as tight as I can get it, and as straight as I can get it. I don't want any dirt soil mix going down inside those tubes. Now, got the excess amount. Got it nice and tight. Just fold the top over. That's going to keep any dirt from going down into the top part of the tube. Then the end piece, I'm going to crisscross. I'm going to cross one section over, that way it's nice and tight on this pipe, and then cross the other section over, and I'm pulling it tight each time. That way, no dirt will go down inside that tube, inside that pipe. Okay, next, next I'm going to put the fill tube in. Notice the fill tube's cut at an angle. That way, when it's down in the tub, the water will come out here, where if you had it the other way around, where it's flat, the water will get stopped at the bottom of the tube. This way, the water flows freely out of the tube. And all I'm going to do is just stick it down in a corner. Each one of these tubs, take a bag and a half of potting mix. You don't want to use potting soil because soil of any kind will not work as a wicking action. Now what I want to do is pack it loosely, not tight, but just loosely, pack it around the tube at the end on both sides and fill in that gap that's between the, the, the four inch pipe and the tub. Notice I'm just lightly packing it and on the sides too. You got to get that soil mixture, get it down to the bottom of the tub because that's what will start your wicking action. Well, what is wicking action? As when I put the water in here, it's gonna filtrate through the soil mixture into the tubes, fill the tube up to where that, the, out, the outspout, I guess you call it. When you see water coming out here, you know that water is all the way at the tube. You're going to have this much air pocket at the top of the tube. You need to maintain that air pocket. That is for your microbes, uh, microbial action in the soil to take effect. <clears throat> that is a one inch pipe with a one inch hole. It is extremely tight going through so that no water would drip out around the tub. This is a 27 gallon tub. The tub was purchased at Home Depot. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was, the pipe was purchased at Home Depot and the four inch tubing in 100 foot rows was at Home Depot. The tub I got at Sam's, yeah, paid $12 for it, which is very, very cheap. The potty mix, I got that at Home Depot. I ended up going to two Home Depots because it ran them out of the, the first one. <coughs> I can take a Coke bottle and put it here. Here, it'll fit right in there. Or water hose 
will fit right in there. If it don't, then uh, the Coke bottle that I cut around back to the funnel, I help funnel it down in there. So that when I put the water in, uh, I won't lose any of, around the side. If I lose something around the side, it's okay. Now what I want to do is top water this to get it started and then fill this tube up until I see the water coming out there. And then wait a couple hours, come back and see if I got any more water I can put in there. Because that water is going to start soaking up through the soil mixture. Now this is potting mix. This is not potting soil. Potting soil will not work. Uh, potting mix will work the best. And there you have it. That's how you make a wicking tub. Any questions? Thank you. So what you think? Simple enough, huh? So I really enjoyed watching that. I love learning about all of the new tricks and techniques. And I hope that some of y'all get to try it out. Remember, teamwork, pull your team together. Teamwork is everything. If you're going to do something like this and you're going to overcome challenges like gastroparesis and EDS and muscular dystrophy or whatever you're going through, be it diabetes, heart problems, you are going to need a good support team. Get your team together, people. Don't have so much pride that you can't look at others and go, I need help. Dad, you're awesome. This rocks. I cannot wait to see what we can get growing in this and I can't wait to share it with all of y'all. So tell me what you think. Let me know. Post your comments down below. Bye y'all. Thanks for watching. I almost forgot to mention and I didn't want to forget because it's so important and I'm so excited about it. Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe hit the notification bell. I'm not just saying this because I need the subscribers. You do not want to miss what we've got coming up. Remember, we're going to be putting up waters and sprinkler systems that will automatically water these things. So I don't even have to water these things by hand. We're also going to put up some shade cloth so that during the summer, our Texas, Northeast Texas sun isn't cooking all of our plants. I don't know about you, but I want to make my salsa, not pick my salsa off the vine. So that's going to be very, very important. And I can't wait to get the pumpkin garden in and we're going to expand all of this. It's so exciting, guys. We've got all winter to get it together. I hope we don't have an early, early freeze and pray that this surgery doesn't slow me down. I so want to be a part of this. I know you do too. Like I said, hit the notification bell, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Bye.